Okay, so I um, agree with you that here it should be DA, DS instead of DAT, and other things should be fine, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, and the key field should be always there on the top. So here you can see that it is there in the purple color, I think, or yellow color. <laughs> so there actually, uh, in beginning the key field we have to define. Uh, after the MANDT, uh, that should be the by default key field because we would like to have the data client dependent. So for that purpose, MANDT will be by default the first field if you want your data to be client dependent, okay? Else you can remove that MANDT first field, but generally we keep that, okay? Most of the cases, 99.99% cases, if you observe that MANDT field will be there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so actually, yeah. even uh, actually, I faced some challenges in the uh, initial uh, mm -hmm. moment. So actually, uh, I defined uh, the table definition is to be like a, a maintenance with some restrictions. Mm -hmm. So then in that case, it is not allowing me to enter any entries for that table. So so actually, I tried with uh, the table maintenance generator. But the issue mm -hmm. is that when I tried uh, by picking some authorization object. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. So table maintenance generator, fine. So let me do one thing. Uh, yesterday we have created one table. I will show you how to create the table maintenance generator and then we will go uh, yes. for the today's class, you know. So just quickly, I will show you the agenda for today's class. It is going to be very important class. Yareshmi, you can speak. Uh, you can unmute yourself. Okay. Uh, yeah. I have a doubt, uh, one more doubt actually. Uh, mm -hmm. When I try to create a table in the fields, mm -hmm. I only could enter data elements. It was not uh, the data type field itself is completely disabled. So I had to create mm -hmm. data elements for every field. I mm -hmm. couldn't define any data types. I mean, yesterday you showed both both the ways, right? I right, right. Uh, no issue, no issue. So who will help me for this particular question? If you know the way, are you able to see my screen? Yes. Okay, so this was the database table. And if I go into display mode and in the change mode, what Rasmi is asking that she is willing to give only the data type directly over here instead of giving the data element like this for the employee ID. Correct. How we can do? You have answer, to. Uh, I have the answer built, built in type. Mm, very good. So you have to click Rashmi over here first on the built in type. Okay. Uh -huh. So when you will click on the built in type, see, this is getting enabled, right? Okay, got it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, thank you. No so, problem. So, so basically, earlier we are using the reference uh, data type, right? something like that, right? Earlier, we were giving directly the data type over here. Okay. You know? Okay. Yeah. So, but that this is the recommended way, you know, giving the data element is the recommended way. The reason behind that, you can use the fixed value at the domain level. You can use the value table, which will be proposed as a check table, right? You have seen that I have used T005 as a check table for this country. Why? because I was able to, you know, uh, for this land one data element here at the domain level, this value range T005 we have used. So it was proposed as a check table. However, it is not necessary, you know, it is not uh, yeah. like that you have to maintain, uh, then only you can use as a check table. But if you maintain here, this will be proposed as to make the check table. That's the benefit, you know? So generally, if you see most of the time, whatever the value table you will be maintaining over here, that will be your check table. So directly, instead of going and checking that, what is the check table directly, we go and, you know, check what's the value and all, if some uh, data validation issue is coming, okay? 
yeah so so, so check okay. table and uh, value table both are different right because uh, as per my understanding value table is defined at the domain level and, true true uh, and check table is here yes check table is element level. yeah check table is here at the field level okay see this is the check table so whatever the value table is there that will be proposed as a check table that's the benefit of value table that when you will be creating the check table relationship that will be proposed as a check table got the point okay so uh -huh. one question mm -hmm. so the data elements um if if it is something you are planning to reuse in the other tables the same same data element then it is better to define it as a data element if not then just a data type is that what the difference between those two reusability yeah true yes one data element can be used in multiple field uh, multiple table other benefit is that data element represents the semantic meaning what is the meaning of semantic semantic means see here the field label we are giving the you know uh, description so this description when you are going to use the alv uh, uh, you know alv uh, abap list viewer you know there is a concept of displaying the data alv there this description will be taken as a field label you know at the column so whichever the field you are taking and if the data element is defined this field label will be coming as a you know a there okay. as a column label but if you don't have the data element you will feel difficulty means the column label will not come automatically so it represents the semantic meaning it will give you the semantic definition this data element and the benefit of domain is that it will give you the technical information as well as you can define the fixed value over here which will restrict you to give any another value and another benefit that you can give the value table which will be proposed as a check table okay so there is a difference between value table and check table check table will be restricting you to enter the data but value table if you simply give and if you will not use this as a check table there is no meaning of giving this uh, value table it's meaning in only then if you are going to use this value table as a check table when you are creating the foreign key relationship okay foreign key relationship means check table relationship foreign key relationship check table relationship both is same thing fine so i believe i got solved some of the doubts and let me quickly show you how to create the table maintenance generator that for the table which we have created in our last class okay so for that purpose what you have to do you have to go to this utility and click on this table maintenance generator and here authorization group select the none okay without authorization group because if you will choose the authorization group it will create the issue i don't want to give any authorization or any kind of role related stuff so select this authorization group as a none and function group so we will create one function group quickly slash o s c a t is the transaction to create the function group go to that particular transaction and from here select this function group and give the name of the function group so you can create the function group or any abap object starting with z or y because z or y represents the customer name space so if you want to create any custom object z or y should be the starting uh, alphabet so z abap for functional i'm creating this as a function group click on this button and it will tell that this function group does not exist do you want to create yes i want to create and function group for above for functional class 
Okay, click on the save button and locally just I want to save it. And it got created. Just click over here, go to the master program. Just I want to activate, you know, currently you can see that it is in inactive state. So click on this button and now it will get activated. So it 